the Olympics. We have the news tonight. Team USA has scooped up two gold medals in swimming today, but everyone is asking, why are the Chinese swimmers suddenly making such big waves? Our man at the stadium in the London Olympic Games, ABC's Bill Weir, leads the coverage again tonight from London. Bill. Well, Diane, you know, in the history of the Olympic Games, the history of swimming, the United States has won 214 gold medals, China, seven. But you wouldn't know it on a controversial day three here in London. But we do begin with the first reason to cheer. The folks of Aurora, Colorado have had in weeks. She's not yet a senior in high school, and her Colorado Swim Club doesn't even have its own pool. Yet, Missy Franklin is golden tonight after the pride of Aurora took the 100-meter backstroke. But the great wet hope, Ryan Lochte, tasted coronated disappointment for the second straight day, beaten again by Frenchman Yannick Agnel. Another huge surprise in the pool has been China and 16-year-old Yi Shi Wen. Her freestyle times in the medley were faster than the best men in the world, a first. And so plenty in London are starting to voice suspicion. While she has tested clean, another 16-year-old swimmer from China was caught blood doping last spring, and the team was shamed by dozens of positive tests in the 90s. But the Chinese insist she's this good because she's been groomed since age five, when her kindergarten teacher noticed her huge hands. In the gym, Team USA looked like world beaters over the weekend, but could not medal tonight. And controversy tainted Prince William's jolly old time at the final. The Brits were giddy when the team earned silver. Great Britain have a silver! Now this is totally <laughs> unprecedented. Unbelievable. And look, royal approval. But after Japan protested a low score in the pommel horse, judges changed their minds and England was forced to settle for the bronze. Still their first medal here in a hundred years. And South Korean fencer Shin Lam thought she was through to the Epe finals, but then inexplicably, one second was placed back on the clock and one second was all her German opponent needed to score the winning hit. This led to an hour long tear filled protest until judges coaxed her away, bringing a chorus of boos. They are calling it, boy, the most controversial moment perhaps in the history of that sport. She said leaving the fencing floor would have admitted defeat, which is why she stayed out there so long. Diane, her devastation, obvious. Oh, wrenching. But Bill, I want to go back to the Chinese swimmer. How big do her hands have to be to beat the speed of the men? Well, she, she has abnormally large hands and feet, and we've seen that on Michael Phelps and Ian Thorpe and other great champions. And the Chinese also say it's not just her physical gifts, it's the fact that the country can now afford to send her the best coaches in the world. In fact, she trains in Australia, where they pay her Australian coaches four times what they could make at home. They do. Okay, Bill, we're reporting in everything we want to know from the Olympics.